The bunks here are worse than in training. We can fix the place up. I have some ideas. No hammocks. Never again. That was your own fault. That pipe wasn't load-bearing. You said hang it anywhere. I am not having this conversation. All right, welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> I'm getting bad, and in today's video, we're back in XCOM Chimera Squad. Uh, what we finished yesterday, we finished off the well, not yesterday, last episode, we finished off the is this a Friday video? I think so. Uh, last episode, we finished off the Mastercrafted shotguns, and I think I'm gonna go, I'm going to go into pistols next. Maybe I know we have more assault rifles. Yeah, I think I'm going to do the assault rifles, actually. That makes more sense. Because the pistols would make sense just because Cherub does so little damage as compared to everyone else. But uh, I think the assault rifles is going to be better. Does it make sense to do another one of those? No, our unrest is pretty low for everything. And then everything going to come down again on um, Friday, too. So maybe we should do something else besides the uh, humanitarian F... No, wait. Yeah, humanitarian aid. Uh, we're gonna put someone in for another free field team, though. Anyone else needs to be trained? I think Patchwork does. Patchwork goes back into training. Never mind. Claymore, Terminal, Godmother, Cheryl, Zephyr, Axiom. Okay, so Axiom's coming off the team. I think I definitely went through this at the end of the last episode, but I completely forgot who was supposed to come off and who was supposed to go in. So Axiom came off the team. And in his place, let's put, uh, let's put, who's the lowest? Terminal Patchwork. I assume Patchwork is going to be the lowest between Patchwork and someone else. Agent Abilities. She's third level. What about Claymore? He's fourth and she's also fourth. All right, so I guess I'll put Patchwork back on the team. We also do have a lot of uh, robotic agents still. Coming at us through a uh, sacred coil. So Patrick's back on uh, right. Now we can figure out who's doing what in Spec Ops. We still don't need to bring this down. I guess we'll do another recruitment drive because we're just trying to finish off the. Um, we'll do this one too. And then this is going to be the next slide with him do it the right way and not mess it up this time so we'll do one free field team because we're trying to get all of them to level three and then we'll do the one free item from the scavenger market just to um just to get it basically so her training is complete we already have the next person in and then we have them done new supplies available mastercrafted shotguns okay and we have your thing going and then we know all of this all right, so now we can end the sacred coil right now, or we can let, wait for it to go up. I don't know what a motile inducer is, but I still kind of want to see what it is just because I don't know what it is. So it might make sense for us to do that. I could freeze a district, but I don't really need to do that yet. Or I mean, you know, I have no reason to do it at all. Everyone's so low. So I think I'll just do this mission and then start the uh, sacred coil mission. And let's uh, make items available. Advanced scope targeting system. Yeah, that's fine. No one else can take anything. Uh, we want her to have this now. Because she's the only one who's going to be running around. And we do have this acid grenade that might get in her way. Plus all the Andromeda too. That way she doesn't have anything blocking her uh, way. Medipatch. Ceasefire. Shank rounds and hmm maybe we should uh buy something new let's see what else we have in here for utility items she already has a grenade on her these are breach items that's for the android i guess we can give her a medi patch too a nano medi, medi kit Cause she does have the space for it, so might as well, right? Turn code grenade, all that. Okay, cool. And then there's this thing. Doesn't really matter. Hopefully we'll never have to use him. So far we haven't, so we'll be fine. Uh, didn't we just buy the... 
We just bought supplies, guns. We just bought master crafted shotguns, didn't we? No, we definitely just bought those. Hold up. Supplies, weapons. Hold up. I'm going to restart this and see because we definitely bought them. Right, we're recording it? Yeah, okay. So we're back at this point now. I didn't put everything on her like I was supposed to yet. Because I'm going to go in there and check and make sure. You lose this. Then we make items available. You get extra padding. You get the advanced stock and the targeting system. Medi patch on breach. We're going to buy you a nano med kit. You get the hazmat seal. All right, supplies. Mastercrafted shotguns purchased. Took the money over there, so we know we all just watched it happen just to be sure. And then the med kit too. So now, it's still saying enhanced shotguns. I don't know. I guess I'll just do the mission and wait and see because there's nothing really I can do about it right now. Uh, but you get the nano med kit. And I'd rather take a frag grenade over a ceasefire grenade. I'm more likely to use that than the ceasefire. And that's everything. Everyone has a bunch of stuff now, too. The only person who doesn't have an epic weapon that they can use now is uh, Zephyr. And that's only... Coming I, up on hostile VIP. I don't know if we have any uh, subs either. But I know Zephyr for sure cannot. Does not have anything. Aim during the breach mobility. Okay. We'll do, we'll do, she has a scope. So we'll do patchwork here. Then we'll do cherub, godmother and Zephyr. So it, Zephyr, I noticed, it seems like it does actually crit when she goes through here, even though it's not during the breach, cause it doesn't stay during the breach on that point. Uh, that or when I just tested it and figured that out, it was just a coincidence. Alright, let's see. Okay, yeah, the run is definitely something we want to target down. We also have this commando and the trooper who are... Well, I think he's for sure going to shoot, so we might as well take him out now. Dropped my target. Next up is Cherub, who can take out the... Well, he can't take anything out for sure, right? You might as well take the shot on the Ronin. Just because we had a high chance to hit, now they're hollow targeted too, so it's going to make anything else that targets the Ronin easier to hit. And we're going to have you go for the Android, because you're more likely to take them out. Yeah, 115% chance. I don't know if y'all saw it right there. And then you can... You can you can take them out the rest of the way. That way we for sure don't have to deal with them. It's kind of tragic because they got shot in the chest. Their head flew backwards then got shot in the back of the head. Oh yeah, and she has that one ability that makes her... If she kills something on her turn, she can be shot. Or the first attack against her will be no damage. So that also helps out for her. Especially during the breach. I didn't even think it'd be that good. Didn't even consider, consider the breach uh, thing. The VIP is number six, who we're trying to capture, okay? I don't remember who has trank rounds and who doesn't. Use chaining jolt on the VIP. That way they're low and close to uh, going down already. Then when we get to, oh, we don't have terminal on this mission, but when we get to Zephyr's turn, Zephyr will be able to knock them down. If hopefully that doesn't accidentally kill them first. Not Zephyr, Another I mean, but the war criminal. Okay, lightning hands. You can go for the thing that just shot at Zephyr. Cool. Got my target. And then you can go for... Can I shield on Zephyr? Actually, you can shield bash them and take them out, right? Because that, that counts for your subdue. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll, we'll do the shield bash on them to take them all the way out. Unconscious? Cool. Alright. 
Then we just have to clear the catwalk, which is this last, the purifier over here. It's probably gonna throw a grenade, right? Yeah. Damn, you did that shit hard. I need to run. Yeah, we, we got we got it. Is this one encounter or two? I can't remember. I'm pretty sure I read it. I think it's just one. And we'll put you in parry. We'll team up with Cherub. Then we'll use Ventilate on this target to for sure hit them. Use Team Up on Cherub just to make sure that grenade doesn't hit him in case we have two encounters here instead of one. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Why did Cherub take damage? Oh, well. So far, we haven't gotten a scar yet. I think we've just been getting lucky at this point because we have taken a decent amount of damage overall throughout these missions. Uh, Evan used to house us in the French crumbled old towns, now vacant Highland Square homes. So where did all the Evan? Yeah, okay, that, we read that one before. Oh, we have a critical mission now. Here at Burger Palace, we want everyone to enjoy our food. That's why we've kept it simple. It all starts with our patties, ranked a seven on the cross species consumability index. But that's not good enough for our customers, so we inject each patty with a flavor bulb of your choice. When it fully gestates, you're ready to see how we turn each seven into a ten. Burger Palace. New name, new process, same great taste. Okay, am I crazy? Because I de we we bought the Master Crafty shotguns and they're not showing up. So that's annoying. Uh, don't know why it's doing that. But I guess whatever. I mean, you really can't change it if the game's not going to give it to us. Pistols, subs, assault, shotgun should have been right here. Um, Alright, so we just have this one mission to get into now. Guess we're doing this one sooner than I originally expected. We have... Godmother, Cherub, Zephyr, and Patchwork. So we should be fine on this mission. Let me make sure this thing has everything that it could have. Oh, what I'll do is it stimulates the nervous system, allowing an agent to act rapidly under pressure. I just want to target ally gains two actions immediately. Does not affect target's cooldown. Interesting. Can she carry both of these? She can. Hmm. This will give her an extra turn. But actually, we don't want her to have that. We'll give her back the Trank Rounds. I think Zephyr might be better to have this over the Turncoat Grenade. We'll give her the Turncoat. What does Cherub have? We'll take your Trank Rounds and instead give you a Frag Grenade. I did not take his Trank Rounds. Oh, the Plasma Grenade is what would have replaced that. So what do we have in spare now? A ceasefire grenade and a frag grenade? Okay. We'll do it this way. I think the motile inducer is best for her to have because then she'll get a whole nother set of moves. Uh, and her, each of her attacks, if it doesn't kill, it does inflict a certain uh, effect on each character that they hit. So that'll work better for everything. For everything. That'll work better overall, better Secret tactically. There we go. They think it's too late for us to stop them. Interesting. Let's prove them wrong. Whoa, there's a massive power source ahead of you. See if you can track it down. Okay, so first unit through this entrance will be rooted for one round. We can send Zephyr through here because we know that won't have an effect on her. We have three encounters here, okay. This last unit through here will do plus three damage. Then we'll send Patchwork and then Cherub. Okay, and then over here we'll send Godmother. She doesn't have anything special that she can do right now. You have the hollow scanner. Okay. So we need to remember that for later in the mission too. Time to move. I thought she was gonna headbutt that for a second because I forgot she kicked the door in kicked the doors in. Okay, what's happening in here? We can have Cherub Phalanx and take all this damage. 90% chance to take them out completely. Okay. Cherub does 7 to 8 damage. We're going to take the shot. I don't want to use Phalanx as soon as we step in the door because it's definitely going to be the hardest later in the mission. It is also a good thing that that uh, critted instead of just doing the normal damage. 
Uh, I think I want to take them out first. Because we can potentially take the turret. I think um, Patrick has her turn first out of everyone. And then we might as well take this shot on the Ronin. Cool. So we got two crits, plus the bonus damage from him. And a lot. I think all of them missed their shots. Yeah, they missed on Cherub too, so we're doing pretty good so far. Pretty lucky. Alright, so we just have to clear this room. We can reprogram this, we have a decent chance to do it too. Blowing some fuses. Well done. Alright. Now, what else do we have in here? We have no robots in here. I'm going to subdue... Can I reach them? No, not you. You. I'm going to subdue you, that way you can't give the shield out to anybody. And if a shit takes you out... And also makes you unconscious, so we might get a little extra intel from that all, uh, as well. I almost said also again. I think I've been saying that a lot re lately now. You have a free shot that you can take on this person. The Ronin. Blow with their health. Um, you can give yourself a... Since you're going to be out in the open, I think I'm going to give you the kinetic shield. And then we're going to shield bash the Ronin to take them all the way out. This way they don't get their turn. Fuck em. And then we'll be able to fuck Damn, we're getting a lot of crits. Can't name this can't name this episode Criticals Galore Fracturing. again, but we're definitely getting more in this one than we did before. And the Smash one episode the that I named after Criticals. Uh isn't that everything? Oh no, we might have um reinforcements Boss coming in. How far is Radio Overwatch? Not too far, actually. Which isn't bad, I guess. We'll put Godmother up here. Then have her Overwatch this entrance. We'll move... Who's this? Patrick up to this point. Have her Overwatch this other one. Can't really get that other spot. That's not... Too bad, as long as I don't run in and come sideways immediately. Cherub, on the other hand, though, is going to give a shield out to Zephyr, because she's. I'm gonna, probably going to run her into whatever's happening up there. And then I'm going to... I could put him in Overwatch right here, which wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that instead, because he does have half cover from his shield. Okay, interesting. Pretty sure... Yeah, okay. She's going to miss, isn't she? Yeah, lightning reflexes on the... Oh, we got two Ronins in here now. Temple Surge, I don't know what that does. Unzipping the prey. Oh, I guess that lets them... Uh, oop. Nope, lightning reflexes. Oop. Oop. This man is running himself into damage. And he won for his old teammate too, which is even funnier. So honestly, they didn't, they didn't really... Again? Oh my goodness. This got this got to be the clip because there's no way that that really just happened. This man run around and got himself killed. All right, give out another kinetic shield to Patchwork. Protected from all angles. And again, we're still in pretty decent cover. If anything comes at you too, you have your shield already. Yeah, a lot of critical shots in this episode. I really can't believe that this Ronin just killed themselves like that though. That's probably going to be the best moment of this whole series, to be honest. Shattering. Yeah, Target another critical, of, of course. Really, at this point, it's kind of expected. Uh, we'll put you on Overwatch again, because it looks like Ronin's like to run through it. We are going to take you out, have to take you out soon, though, because... Um, you're going to switch back, I think, on your next turn? We have nothing we can do here besides going to Overwatch. I don't think we've taken any damage yet, have we? Because we missed, they missed their shots in the breach. All right, so now we have one of each. Go ahead and take that shot. Ran right up to the same spot. Lightning reflexes, okay. That one didn't get it, though. Okay. The door's not open yet. I feel like it's going to miss. Yeah, that's what I thought. It'd be funny if it, like, closed in their face and then they couldn't come through. 
All right, let's see what happens with this. I'm pretty sure it just gives them a term instantly. Okay, she's ruptured. And you ran into the turrets. Thank you, man. As I thought would happen. Although you have that reflex ability, which makes it to where you don't... Uh, I guess it's the first shot on them doesn't do anything. We didn't need to take them out pretty quickly, though. Since they use Tempo Surge, it means that their turn is going to come earlier than it usually would. Another critical shot. I don't I don't know what we did to get all these criticals, but I don't really care. I'm, I'm gonna take this as making up for us not getting the master crafted shotguns like we were supposed to. And then can you reach them on a shield bash? You can, but it won't kill. Although, how much with the shot? How oh we're definitely gonna hit with the shot. All right, cool. Hostiles gone. Okay. You can take them. They're disoriented now, but I don't think that's gonna have much of an effect on them since they uh. Okay, ran off. They didn't matter because we have the uh, shield on him. And do they get to move after that turn? I think so. Right? Yeah. Uh, fire your weapon on them. Cool. First encounter, not too bad. Everyone loses their shield, though. It's the only annoying part about it. But, that's fine. Cherub has, is walking into Gunfire this one with plus one shot. Sacred Coil Cathedral. Sounds like an old movie. What's it like in there? There's something about this place. It feels good in here. Hey, my scalp is tingling. That explains the pheromone dispensers. Must be keyed to hybrids, so they feel at home in here. Sure, it's harmless. Hold on, that power source doubled its output. Whatever they're up to, it's in the next room. All right. Yeah, I forgot what I was saying last time. Maybe when I'm recording, I'll remember and put it in. Uh, all units in this entrance have plus 50 dodge. First unit this entrance will be rooted. Uh, units through this entrance will automatically activate Overwatch. So, we can send Zephyr through here, and then it won't have a problem, and everyone else is going to go into Overwatch afterwards. We'll have you use your combat scanner here, and then in the next mission, we'll just, our next mission, the next spot, we'll have to remember to send in Zephyr at the second, that way she can throw in the grenade to uh, mark all the enemies in here. Interesting. This is definitely not what I'm supposed to be seeing. All right. Commando, we might take them out if we hit them, so we're gonna go for them instead. Since we can't, we couldn't see that Android or anything else at the time. I think I want to aim for this um, Guardian though. That way, I can't give out that shield. And hopefully, they don't have two Guardians that are alert, because otherwise, that'd be a little annoying. Okay. Untouchable. Okay, well, she got shot at twice. That's not too bad, though. She didn't take as much damage as she could have. Target down for good. We have a mech in there, too. I think Patchwork? Is the Patchwork a mech? The elders answer our prayers. Um. The gatekeeper. What's wrong with it? No! Your presence defiles it! Uh... Okay, should have bought those AP rounds like I thought about doing. Okay, it just leaves. Interesting. Alright. You can... No. We want to hit the mech. We want to hit the mech. That way we can do some damage to it and also move over to whatever this thing is that we're supposed to be taking out. Oh, we shut them down for two turns too, so we actually don't have to worry about them. Go ahead and turn that off immediately. Overload the second generator. Um, 
We'll put you over here that we have cover from everyone else in the room. And you have full cover too, so. Oh, you're Ronin. Forgot about that. But everyone's in Overwatch, so as soon as he takes a step, everything's gonna shoot at him. And you got kicked by Term. Not Term, no. Uh, Zephyr. Godmother's not taking a shot? Lightning reflexes, damn. Damn, he really only took one damage from all them shots and getting kicked. Okay, that hurt. Oh, that's annoying. Stay down until you're good. No, okay, never mind. There's the actual damage he took. Advancing. I was gonna say. That's also annoying. Not the worst. We can drop a turncoat grenade somewhere. I don't think we need to though. First thing I want to do is team up with Zephyr. That way she can jump in over there, take out the number 12, and overload this thing before anything else can come through. And then you can take a sh shot. Or you can try and reprogram. 87, 87. Uh, I'm gonna go for you, I think. And we got it. Alright. And then we'll fire the weapon on the... We can't see him? That's annoying. We'll fire our weapon on the number... 11 character, I guess. 87% chance to hit. And we Almost, missed. I think that's still not the highest that we've ever Almost missed with. Alright, uh, we have you do crippling blow on the number 11, I think it should be now. Yeah. From this angle. Right, She's also shrouded out. now. Interact with this thing. Get that turned off. Alright, so we don't have to worry about anything else coming through that portal. We use Zephyr to make sure that... And now he's going to do something else. Probably hit Cherub or Godmother. Okay. I'm okay for now. Know your limits. Prime self-destruct. Ooh, we have to deal with this uh, mech too. I forgot all about. For a second. Oh man, I'm out. Give a shield. Give a shield to Patchwork. And then we're going to go ahead and take out this Balismar, dude. That way he can't do any more damage. It's going to consume our charge. It shouldn't do damage to... Yeah, patchwork. Okay. And now we have to look at the... Oh, yeah, that's right. We did shut down the mech. That's why I forgot about it so quick. Alright. 67. 82. Take the 82. Might as well. Okay, now we have Godmother's turn. She's too far away to do Ventilate, I think. Uh, number two, can we hit hit them with Subdue? It'll do two to three damage. And we can throw an Acid Grenade on them, which will, which, well, this should kill them actually, because then they'll just take the damage on their turn next. All right, so they got the Acid Burn effect. On their turn, they're gonna take one damage, so they should die right after that could take a shot on them but we don't really need to let's move down here and then see what else we can see now still nothing really I could use running gun this has a three turn cooldown moving and shooting we really don't have anywhere good to move to that that's gonna offer us cover as well changing position we're going to assume that he's going to die on his turn and then go ahead and take a shot on the mech. And we might take them out with this shot too. Or we just missed. Uh, pretty sure it was a 98% chance that we just missed on too. We can take that or we can do this. Or we can move over to here. I'm moving. And then use Chaining Jolt on, not you. Or I guess you, because that's the only thing we can see. Overloading target. Go on. I guess that's fine though, since it does mean that um they can't potentially blow up on anyone. And will this kill? I don't think it'll kill, but we'll get whatever effect that 
uh, Zephyr puts on it. On it. Never mind, it killed. That's not bad. So far, the only person to really take damage is Patchwork because of Ballad Samara's ability to move around. But now we have to deal with There's this. something very off about that gatekeeper. If this is part of Sacred Coil's plan, we have to stop that thing. Yeah, now we have to deal with this gatekeeper who's, who seem, looks like they're going to be the actual issue here, not uh, Ballad Samara, because he died pretty quickly. As you know, this entrance will do plus three damage during the breach. All right, we'll send in Cherub. Zephyr with her charge. Does Chip have anything now? Patchwork with the Medi patch. And then Godmother. Now we can come in here as fresh as we can uh, with Reaching health. It. Throwing grenade. All right. Where is the guardian? Not the guardian. The what? The whatever it's called. Can't remember. I will right, we'll take out the commando. This probably would have been a good time to use phalanx, actually, but I don't think so because it looks like we're gonna be able to hit everything uh, with relative ease. A turret, a guardian. We're gonna go for the guardian because we want to take them out as fast as possible. And then. We can start dealing damage to the Andromeda. We could potentially take this turret out right now. Want to do that? And then Godmother is going to yeah take the shot on the Andromeda because they're going to be an issue if we let them stay up too long. Too long. Ooh, we got a crit off that too. And they missed their shot back. All right. And then Zephyr's going into here to take their hit on the um, Guardian. We have a lot of stuff grouped up to- oop. Oh no. Oh hell, that gatekeeper had a use for sacred coil. Just not the one they expected. Okay. Alright. We should start taking shots on them then. Glanced off the armor. Hmm. Okay, do we have any, It'll we have a plasma break. grenade that we can't get to reach them just yet. Can we? It looks like it will actually reach. I don't know though, I want to be sure that it hits and not like, oh, it says it will, but it might not. So, I want to give a kinetic shield to Zephyr because she is the furthest Shield's forward up. and the, the most out in the open. And then we're going to take another shot on... Yeah, we're not going to do any damage to them until we can get their shield off. Spectral Zombies way down in the turn order. What's number two looking like? Okay, what about the Andromeda? No, we're still trying to shoot the Andromeda. The Andromeda? Hello? Huh. Is this the Andromeda? Okay, don't know why it's doing this. Didn't mean to click twice, but whatever. Definitely, probably the worst thing that we could have had happen there. They tried to move. That armor has a weak. Okay, we took them out, but they got to prime their self-destruct first, which is annoying. Uh, but I think Cherub's gonna get a charge off of that, right? Okay. Hello? I don't think it really expected that thing to start its turn and then die immediately is what happened there. Alright. We can set this off in here. Can we get cover in here, though? This might take out the Andromeda. What is this gonna do? Target ally... Gains two actions immediately. Does not affect the target's cooldown. Does not cause action to activate. I'm not really sure I'm supposed to use that. I don't think uh, Zephyr is really supposed to hold that. I think she's supposed to run up next to someone and use it. It's like team up, but without. Uh, or it's like team up, but you have to be next to the enemy to do it. Is what it looks like. 
So everything's lost to shield in here, and we're gonna have you activate parry. There we go. You guys finally get to see it. That's the one thing that I've seen so many times, but you guys have never seen is parry. And now we can do chaining jolt, or we use a turn coat grenade, and we'll hit it in here. We could hit. I kind of want to take. I want to take out the guardian and the Andromeda, so I'm going to try and hit both of them without hitting any of our team. I can't really see inside of this building though. Okay, that's going to have a friendly fire, so maybe I can do the Andromeda and this purifier. It's also going to hit our team. Oh, was I going to hit both of them though? I clicked it as soon as it wasn't on Zephyr, but I wasn't sure if it's actually on the Andromeda. Okay. Not what I wanted to see. <sighs> Whatever. Whatever. We'll banish. We'll use banish on... I think actually I'm going to save that for... Oh, I can put something in stasis. I'll put that in stasis. In stasis, Patrick sends Gremlin to place the target in stasis. For one turn, the unit cannot take its action for that turn. Right? That's what it says. Target unit into stasis for one turn. The unit cannot attack, but it is immune to all damage. Can be used on allies and enemies. Stasis field has a two turn cooldown. So now... Uh, I'm waiting. I'm trying to wait to use chaining jolts when this thing breaks, but I don't want to break. Oh wait, I should be fine to break it now. Okay. I was just trying to get it shot to deal damage for us because I know how much damage it can do. You're berserk, so you lose your turn. The purify gets its turn. It's probably gonna throw a grenade. Yep, as we expected. I need to move now. Uh, she's gonna get her chance to move, but no one else is. Oh, not no one else, but, uh, Patrick isn't going to be able to move. We'll move you over to here. And then we'll use, uh, Ventilate on the, we want to hit the Guardian. Because she, that's what has, uh, Godmother flanked. One less target. And now we're going to see what all of these little things do. Okay, they move slowly. Never mind, they made it all the way over. Untouchable, cool, great. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. She lost her armor. Looks like we're going to take a lot of damage here. And this whole mission. Is your shield going to face them? Okay, you missed. On, surrender. Are you gonna make it too? How far can these things move? Damn. Okay, I don't know who you're going for. You shouldn't be able to make it to anyone, neither should two and three. Never mind, I guess? No, okay, they didn't make it. They had to dash to get there. Now we do have Zephyr's um multi-hit ability. Well, I can't remember what it's called, crowd control or something. Which we might be able to get all Ooh, that's pretty good actually. Oh, anything that walks up on Zephyr is going to take that damage like that. Okay. So, I think I want to give this to Zephyr then. And then now we can throw a frag grenade over to them. Can we get two things in this? We can. Why it should not? deal damage, right? No, okay. I guess it comes back or comes off when uh, oh, I should have looked at that symbol right there. So that was kind of a waste and a pretty bad one too. Okay, but if we do it this way, we'll be able to take out all of those uh, spectral zombies, or at least the two next to her, wow. and deal no damage to uh, Godmother to too. So that's pretty hit. good. That's still on cooldown. We might be able to uh, root this, is what my goal is. Ooh, shutdown is even better, actually. That way it can't do anything. And then we'll put her in parry. 
So that way this number nine thing, when it goes to attack, I won't be able to do anything. You're still standing in the fire. I should have gave you the shield that way you didn't take that damage. Uh, let's have you move into here. Going to move. Then you're gonna use the nano med kit on yourself, which should heal you back up to four, right? And then we're gonna use chaining jolt on the Andromeda shell. Yeah, we're gonna use chaining jolt on the Andromeda shell because that's gonna take it out Melting for sure. Hardware. That way we don't have to deal with it at all. And it's gonna it should be a little bit damage to that too. Yeah, immune to mental effects, which is fine. Ooh, Berserk is removed. You're getting up close, you're probably finna shoot flamethrower, aren't you? Yep. I can still fight. That's annoying, but I think. You can manage. Interesting how we'll do the damage twice. File sprinting my way. Alright, godmother. You can do we stay in this position? What's happening? I guess we have to move. Does she have cover from there? I didn't actually check that, which I should have. Why can't I reload? Let's see. Shredder, untouchable. If we heal her, she'll lose the um that fi fire effect. We can do subdue here. Subdued. And that'll give her the untouchable effect since the uh, enemy went down on- oh my god, that thing moved fast? And the enemy went down on her turn. Okay, it's opening up and it's going to attack. It looks like patchwork. I didn't read what that said. I missed it. Okay. okay. Just looking pretty bad now. Reanimated. Okay, so we need to take this thing out before we need to- before we deal with anything else. I don't know what this thing is going for real. Untouchable? Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine too. You're still burning. Alright, who can get a shield now? We'll give a shield to Godmother because she's also burning. And then... You can take a shot on that thing, or the, no, that's a side zombie. Also a side zombie. They have more health than they did before, which is annoying. I can't use shield bash, I don't know why. And we also can't move? Can we? No, we can move. So I'm gonna take this move then. Found a better to get him out of fire and get him away from those things. And we're gonna assume that they can't move as far as before. All right. Zephyr can hit pretty much all of the enemies that we have left, and she's immune to the fire. So we're gonna do it like this. They are way too close to each other. Damn, that's a lot of hits. Yeah, she just got a lot of kills. And then we're gonna put her in parry. could do this we can use banish fire the target until you run out of ammo or should we move to a different location first maybe moving somewhere else would be better before we do that or maybe not even doing that would be better I don't know I want to use banish on this thing actually and try and take it out or at least deal a lot of damage to it Okay, that's one shot. Okay, there's the second one. I was gonna say, you better do the rest of the shots. I think the game is starting to do a little bit of glitching. And it might be because of how long I've been playing. Because I played it for a little bit, like, on my own little personal... Uh... Thing. Then came and started playing this one. It seems like it glitches more when that happens. Okay, we want to attack it when it's opened up, is what it looks like. She has to reload, but I can't reload. Running gun, preparation, or subdue. She can heal herself, which I guess we might as well do. 
And now we can reload, so we get a free reload. Reload it. And we use scatter shot. This will hit. Scatter shot will hit Zephyr in the back, but Zephyr also has her kinetic shield, which will keep her safe. So really, what we're concerned with is not hitting Patchwork at the same time with this, which I don't think we can avoid, while also hitting a decent amount of them. So it looks like the number two might just have to survive. Yeah, because, okay, we have a better angle to take out, oh, we can use running gun too. But we don't have anywhere to really, that we need to reposition to. So we'll do it like this. Yes, I'm fine with that. Because we take out two of them and then Good that's also going to charge up uh, Cherub's shield. If that thing gets close to Zephyr, it's gonna, she's going to kick it and she could potentially do four damage to it also. I guess that's also an expected outcome. Alright, this thing is opening back up. What are you going to do? And you're way back there. I don't even know why you're still here, honestly, because you're not doing anything. For real. I'm picking... Ooh, you're getting low on health. Getting a little dangerous with him. Um, but this might be the first time we have someone go down. Which is going to be annoying when it happens. Alright, Zephyr and Patrick are next. We'll put a shield on... Not Godmother. We're going to put a shield on Zephyr. Protection. And I think I think Zephyr still has her med kit, so we're gonna send her in to uh take the shot on to take the shot on um or to heal Got my target. to heal Cherub that way he stops burning right nope don't have that. Immediately does not affect the target's cooldown. Okay, I don't want to do that then. I do want to give this to Godmother though. That way Godmother can use Ventilate on this uh, thing. She can't use Ventilate because she has to reload. Reloading. Now you can use Ventilate on this target, which will do 6 to 10 damage. Well, I guess it's 4 to 8 damage. Yeah, so we got max damage on that. And then we're going to use... Uh, closes back up after that. We're going to use... We're going to use... This. Which takes them out. And we're going to use parry here. No ammo. I need to reload. And no one has a med kit, so we might... Okay, let's put him in stasis then. Just for a moment. Alright, we have him in stasis. Until Zephyr's... Not Zephyr, but... um. Ooh. Ooh we. I forgot this negates the armor. Not the worst. I'm, st I'm fine with her taking a little bit of damage. We didn't lose anybody in this mission. We almost lost Cherub though. So that was pretty close. That was probably the worst mission that we've had so far. Yeah, he's gravely wounded. He's probably gonna, if we don't get a scar on this mission, I'm gonna just say we're immune to scars at this point. I've gotten scars for less uh, in my, um, the one that I played by myself. Damn, that was a long mission too. All right, Kolya, what about the Bullet Smart Guy, Prism of Fang, nasty piece of work. Don't think, oh, we got an achievement probably from finishing that too. Don't think we ever made it to camp. His clones are just as bad as you'd expect. Kolya, we've had work, we've had worse. Ready, ready to hunt, Prism of Fang. About that, how many more you, until I work off my sentence? Kolya, three, but you'll get a lump sum of bounties so far and a place on the team if you're interested. Prisma Fang, are you s sweet on little old me? Collier, less so... I'm probably reading this all wrong. I'm just going to stop, actually. Excellent work, 
Chimera Squad. Sacred Coil got more than they bargained for when they threw open that gate. That gatekeeper must have been sent here five years ago. It was stuck in transit since XCOM won the war. Scattered cells remain throughout the city, but Sacred Coil as an organization is no more. All right, so Sacred Coil is done with. The progeny went first. Reclamation analyzed the intel from your latest investigation. We've noticed a troubling pattern. Sacred Coil received external help in constructing their psionic gate. Atlas is no longer a theory. Now that we've foiled two of their plans, expect an escalation. Did you find a connection to Mayor Nightingale's death? Nothing. Focus your investigation on the remaining group of suspects and watch for any connections to Atlas. All right, so our last group is the Gray Phoenix. Uh, as funding to hire more mercenary muscle, Gray Phoenix ordinance has been calibrated for armor shredding impact. That's annoying. Gray Phoenix is a group of Gray primarily Phoenix. muton scavengers operating in the city. Recently, they've armed themselves with highly restricted weaponry. That puts them on our radar. Okay, that looks like a pretty big enemy too to be leading them. We already have another critical mission. We just got paid for all of that work. Someone has... Oh, we have a free field team. That's right. All right. City Anarchy, 31 Unrest. Okay, we already know about the unrest in the city. Uh, should we do this right quick? Is it going to be a longer episode? How many encounters is this? Uh, oh, this is an investigation starter. Okay, let me let me do a pause on that then. Yep. Grants hail of bullets. This is a submachine gun. I kind of want to get that. And yeah, that's it. We can do a superior stock also. I don't see as much use in that than I do the uh, weapon. Okay. That's the critical mission that we just stuck on. We just came here. New supply. We don't have any new supplies. Yeah, I think the um the masterwork shotguns is being is glitching out because we're definitely supposed to have those. Probably would have made that last mission a little easier too. Yeah, because it's still only giving us the enhanced, and it keeps uh, saying that we have something new to buy when we don't because we already bought it. Okay. But I think we have everything where we want it to. We're about halfway through the Masterwork Rifles. Uh, three days left on that. One day left on his last bit of training. Okay. So let's see what's going on in here. Oh, it is sending the APC. Uh, projected Encounters 3. Alright, since we have that, those Encounters of 3, I'm just going to save this for the next episode. Because this episode has already been long enough. So we've taken down Grey Phoenix. A lot of weird stuff happened in that mission. We almost lost Cherub, too. Surprisingly, he didn't get a scar. Right? Yeah, he doesn't have a scar. Be, there'd be a little uh, arrow pointing downward on him right there. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Uh, where we start looking into Great Phoenix and see what's really going on with them.